In this video, I'm going to show you the expand archive commandlet, which is used to basically extract zip folders. In my C demo folder, we have the test.zip folder, um, compressed folder, and it contains one file called test.txt. My PowerShell window is already located in C demo, so what I can just do then is expand archive, and I can supply the name of the zip folder, and just execute that. Because I didn't supply a destination path, it created a folder with the same name as my zipped folder and, expand and ex expanded the archive into that folder. So if I just delete that. So the other way we could do that is to expand the archive test.zip and supply a destination path. In this case, again, C demo, And this will extract the files but place them in the folder without creating a new folder for that extraction. So let's delete those. There are a few key things to bear in mind with the expand archive. If your folder has special characters in, you'll want to use the literal path instead of just path. So at the moment, what we're actually doing really is expand archive path test.zip. But if it has special characters, we need to use the literal path. So if I just delete that a second, let's give this folder some special characters. So rename, just gonna put a couple of square brackets in there, V1. So if we do literal path, C, demo test.zip and we want to give it a destination path of C demo we are now able to do that extraction had we not used literal path and we just try to use path while it had special characters in the name we would get an exception one thing to note though is just when you don't supply a destination path like we did earlier and it created the folder it will create the folder from wherever you are executing your command from so if I go back a level and I do Expand, oops, expand archive, and I want to expand C demo test.zip. And I'll delete that text test file as well, and I shall rename this back to what it was. There we go. Um, it would actually create the expanded folder in my C drive. So I'm going to give it a destination path of C demo to avoid that. And that is how. You supply a full path and you still get the files where you want. And that's it for Expand Archive, a pretty simple commandlet.